right, so if I'm testing linearly independence, I'm going to set up an equation, a homogeneous equation. So 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 1, 4, negative 7, 3, times some sort of constants. So I'm looking at linear combination. And then if I look at my multiplication here, I can see that I have not set this up correctly because if I multiplied this out, I would get k1 plus 3k2 plus 4k3. Oh, that is what I want. All right, good. So 0, 0, 0 as my 0 vector. All right, so looking at my linear combination, I'm going to make an augmented matrix. K1, K2, K3. I'm going to solve by using an augmented matrix. 0, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 0. I could use reduce row echelon. I can also just perform some subtraction here. So 1, 3, 4. Multiply this by negative 2. That's going to give me 0, negative 5. Uh, negative 15, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, and then once again, I can end up with 1, 3, 4, 0, barely fits, and then 0, 1, 3, 0, and I notice that I have a matching row. Yikes. So, <clears throat> My solution, I have a non-trivial solution, which means that these vectors are not linearly independent. So we have non-trivial solution, therefore vectors are linearly dependent. So notice if we had ended up with leading ones in each of our rows, then we would have had linear independence. Yeah, so we can use our calculators, reduce row, uh, reduce row echelon to determine this as well. All right, again, linear independence, we're looking at a system K1A plus K2A squared plus k3a cubed equal to zero, and we're looking for the non-trivial solution. So k1a, well, that's going to be negative k1, k1, negative k1, zero. a squared, I have to think about making my a squared, negative one, one, negative one, zero. Multiply it by itself to get our matrix. So one, let's see, we would have one minus one is zero, negative one plus zero is negative one, one and zero is one, negative one. Okay, so there's our a squared multiplied by k2. We're gonna end up with zero, negative k2, k2, negative k2. And then a cubed, I'm going to multiply by a again. And then negative 1, 0. All right, that's going to give me 1. So I'll have a k3. And then I will have 0, negative 1 plus 1 gives me another 0, and then 1 and 0 is a k3. Okay, we want this to be equal to 0. All right, so combining all of this together, I would end up with a single matrix of negative k1, plus k3, k1 minus k2, negative k1 
plus k2. Notice these two are the same equation. And then we have negative k2 plus k3. So I could take this out and make it a three by three system by saying, so looking at my k1s, I would have negative one, one, zero, and then looking at my k2s, I would have from my first equation, zero, negative one, negative one. So I'm looking only at these three as I'm setting up my systems. And then K3, I would have one, zero, one for my K3. So let's put this together. Negative one, one, zero, zero, negative one, 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 zero, one. K1, K2, K3 equal to zero, zero, zero. Okay. So then I would do the same thing. I'm going to set up my equation, my reduced row echelon, and then solve it. So since I've already done that, let's go have a look. Okay. And notice here I made a four by four, but I didn't need to do that because I had, hmm, I had these two rows, which are multiples of each other. So if we take out this row, I still end up with a zero, zero, zero. So therefore we have a non-trivial solution and we have linear dependence. So linearly dependent. All right. I will see you in the next video when we find the dimension of this plane.